Lewis Slotin was a nuclear physicist at the Manhattan Project. He would work with the plutonium pits at the core of nuclear weapons and run experiments to measure the reactivity. Now, he would perform a demonstration nicknamed Tickling the Dragon's Tail, where he'd lower a spherical beryllium shell over a pit. The shells would reflect neutrons back into it and make the reaction more likely, pushing it closer and closer to criticality. He held the sphere with his left hand and used a screwdriver to keep the shells apart and adjust the distance while observing radiation emissions. On his final experiment with the demon core, the screwdriver slipped, the shells closed and the pit went critical, emitting a pulse of radiation that would be seen as a blue flash. That would kill him nine days later. But there's one final wrinkle to this story. A recent study simulated the conditions and concluded that the beryllium sphere alone wasn't sufficient to drive the reaction. The factor that pushed it over the edge was neutron reflection from his own hand that was sitting on top of the sphere. So Lewis Slotin died by his own hand.